So, Jimmy Travel reporting sales and pre-tax profit that have both beaten analyst estimates. Joining us now live from the LSC to tell us how we got the company back to profit, Chief Executive Officer Peter Long. Uh, Mr. Long, good morning. Thank you very morning. much for joining us. Pleasure. Sales beat estimates, pre-tax profit beat estimates, operating profits record. How have you achieved it? Um, very strong performance across many of, most of our markets. Uh, and I think th the key factor in terms of how we've achieved it is by offering a broad range of unique holidays for our customers which are exclusive. Uh, and, and that's generated very strong demand, so we're very happy in terms of the overall performance. I mean, we've heard a lot, obviously, from tour operators like yourselves. Thomas Cook's been in the news. We've heard about the woes in North Africa. We've heard about the flooding in Thailand. We've heard about the sovereign debt crisis. Have you been hit by these factors? Uh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, every year we have something different. Um, but yes, we have. And so, for instance, North Africa... Uh, affected our profits by some 70 million pounds in terms of the lost margin and cost of disruption. How are you managing then to offset what seems to be three big negatives? I think we have very strong brands in terms of across all our uh, major markets and, and in most markets we've been number one for tens of years so we've got a very high level of uh, customer loyalty and as I say by offering those unique holiday experiences that's created strong demand for us. I mean, differentiated holidays, I mean, that's one area that you're aiming to stand out. The Absolutely. margins are better. I mean, how big could this be for you? Um, I think it's, it, it's very important uh, to, one, uh, enable us to currently trade through more challenging times. But I think as we go forward, this gives us a significant growth opportunity. Talk to me about bookings since the end of the, since the, end of the fiscal year. How are they looking? Um, they're in line in terms of what we've anticipated for winter. We, we, we planned uh, a lower capacity for this winter because of the impacts of North Africa, and particularly the first half of winter was going to be down on last year. But that's no surprise to us, and, and we are trading in line with those uh, current capacities. And I think what is pleasing is that the late booking market is proving to be very strong. How challenging is this environment compared to 2008 and 2009? Um, I would say, from our perspective, similar. Uh, I think one of the key factors f for us uh, is that our customers will only forego their, ho their holiday. This is the last thing they want to forego. If they have disposable income, they will reprioritize in terms of what they're spending. And, and that summer holiday, annual holiday, is a must as long as they have disposable income. I've got to ask you about your big competitor, Thomas Cook. Uh, will it survive? Um, I think it's, it, it's pleasing to see that the, that the banks have supported them. I mean, disruption in our industry we don't want, so I was very pleased to see that... Uh, are you, are you benefiting, though? I mean, is there a flight to quality? Is there a flight to Tui Travel? It's very early to say, to say at this stage in terms of just over a week. Uh, all I can say is that if they lose volume, we will be the natural beneficiary. Mr Long, thanks for joining us today. Peter Long there, Tui Travel Chief Executive Officer.